and welcome to the Anime Izuka Podcast, week three of the summer 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hey, guys. Next up, we have Ku. Hello. Next up, we have Brian. Hello. And finally, we have Sasha. Jin Muri. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we don't really have any anime news to... Um, go through today so we're gonna jump quick to other shows we're gonna give a quick right now decadence just give a quick me and sasha yeah thoughts. boy yes talk me into watching this show i've uh, been dying to watch that's it. not what we're gonna do <laughs> david, <laughs> david at least say it with a straight face man. Man. you gotta <laughs> uh, okay um so the first episode <laughs> was kind of interesting because it was like kind of post-apocalyptic sci-fi had a bunch of humans you know it was like the last human settlement and they had to fight monsters and so kind of like an interesting like premise of um this girl who she wanted to be a fighter but she couldn't so she had to be a support and so it had an interesting first episode and then the second episode right. happened and we all just get baited and apparently like earth is just an mmo for these aliens to play it's kind of like avatar where like these <laughs> aliens are basically like they they're like these weird, like, like chibi things, and they jack into an avatar, and the avatar goes into Earth, and they basically fight like these monsters to get like some like some like liquid, like nutrition, whatever. And right, I didn't think about it. We should have Peter for this. I think Peter would be laughing his ass off for this too. I'm pretty sure he was joking just... around the first episode. I don't know. Listen, the the first episode, the first episode was interesting, right? It had potential. A lot happened, so I was surprised by how much actually happened in the first episode. And then you start the second episode, you're like, all right, let's find out what happens with this girl with one arm and this captain who's like secretly a spy, whatever might be going on. And then, as David said, this giant plot twist gets revealed. Like the first And two you know minutes. what, guys? <laughs> it, it's so good that you got to put it on hold. <laughs> okay? It's it's such an amazing <laughs> plot twist that it's going to take years to settle in your brain. So I highly recommend anybody who's watching the show, they just put it on hold for the rest of their lives <laughs> because it's it's that good. No, in all honesty, I just can't get into it. Like, it, it completely threw me off guard. Like you said, these chibi characters walking around. Like, who cares about these blocks, man? I don't care about no blocks. Walk around having a virtual human world. Listen, shows need to be human centric. I don't know if there's a word for it, but oh. humans come first, okay? Damn. And I don't care about B stars. You know, I'm, I'm not watching dogs kill each other. <laughs> Listen, just like I don't want to watch Lego pieces walk and talk and inject dude, tubes up their asses. Dude, what's like, wrong with the Lego movie? <laughs> <laughs> Lego movie is boring. That's what's wrong dude, with it. Lego movie is legit. Hey, man, everything is awesome. Hey man, everything is awesome if you're on acid. That's what I think should have been the real name of that song. And the real creators of the show. I feel like the creators of the show had to have been taking massive amounts of drugs and were like, let's just take the sunglasses from Tengen, Toppen, Gurren, Lagen and throw them on a character that has a normal face but has a Rubik's Cube for a body. And what? yeah, it, yeah, it, trust me. The oh, character I'll, design. Yeah, Thread, you like if you saw that art style for like the second episode, you would hate it. So, like the, oh, the alien place. Okay. Like the only good part is just like when they go to the, the human world, but like the art style for the, the alien ship is so like is so out of place contrasted oh, with like I'll, the other stuff. Yeah. We, Let's just say, talk about it. When you when you guys talk about another show that I'm not watching, I'll I'll look into it. Let's just say this show has fallen below the deck, and I would call it Deca Don't. <laughs> well, it, God damn, apparently on Reddit, some people actually like the plot twist, and they're still gonna watch, so... Hey, you know what? Uh, Everybody has their own taste. I'm not gonna knock anybody who likes the show. I'm just saying not a fan of the twist at all. Nope. So, how much... Was there still a lot of CGI in the second episode, or...? I mean... The, on, uh... When it switched back to the, the human, the Earth world? Yeah with the monsters because the art style for the alien ship is way different and here's where i think mm -hmm. it all went wrong the big ship they use the decadence when it charged up to fire at the uh oh, the giant in monster. invading aliens yeah. i thought it was gonna be a giant beam that just completely disintegrates them and you're like oh yes yes good good disintegrates them i'm sorry and 
what happens is a giant fist unfolds and just punches the alien back. And I said, man, I, that's what I knew. There could be something wrong with the show. But, <laughs> you know, I just, I didn't get myself tested in time. Hey, at least it's only two episodes in and not throwing that at, at you at like episode six or something. But that's, what, oh my God, that's what Reddit is saying too. Like, hey, at least it's the second episode, <laughs> not like, not like way later. I'm like, that's not a good justification still. Hey. They could have threw in that green oozing banana like episode 12, but they didn't. Yep. I, I gotta admit, I, I do agree with that mentality because I gave Steins Gate a full season, and the show still sucked, so <laughs> you know what? Thank you. Thank you, Decadence. Alright, so that's all the time we're spending on Decadence. We're, we're on to our real shows. We're starting out of high Ooh. school. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, how do you think, Brian? <laughs> yeah, dude! Yeah, boy, my fucking boy, this man Han Dewey, fucking <laughs> coming in with that deer looking ass, fucking says turtle stance into the freaking phoenix, oh, into the tiger, okay. and he's about to blast his ass with a bear, but not really. It wasn't a bear. <laughs> it wouldn't be a bear. It, it was. It, it would most likely have been the dragon. He okay. called yeah. a white tiger after that. Oh man, that was just. Oof. Oh, Dude, he's a good guy too. Actually, over. I need to ask Stran, do you recognize um the do you recognize like the white tiger, the the turtle, and the phoenix from Final Fantasy 14? Oh damn. Yeah. Do you do you know <laughs> you wanna know why that is, Stran? Yeah, sure, sure. Um so it's like this thing in uh Chinese Buddhism where it's like it's called like, the four heavenly guardians. Basically it's like those guardians protect like one of the directions, so you have the north south east and west they all have the guardians and so that's why like a lot of like anime and video games you see, you see the white tiger the phoenix the dragon and um and what was it? The, turtle the turtle yeah so brian we're, so brian is right then it is the dragon yeah, yeah it is yeah. the dragon okay spoilers I just, just wanting you news trend not really but yeah, i had no I idea yes the spoiler but i just want to see Dude. i just want you to know that's the common theme in video games and anime but all right cool but, cool yeah but moving yeah, on so right. much respect yeah. to that guy he took 12 baseball bats straight to his, like, what, what do you say? Like the pressure points. So his organs were being like, infected. Organ. <laughs> yeah. it's like his internal organs were literally dying. It's like, wow, well, okay. Dude, that's how much I respect this guy because he has a friend and he was spilled. Someone spilled soda on this guy's nice dress shirt. And he turned the other cheek and said, can I pick that up for you, sir? Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Ultimate respect to this guy. That's customer service beyond service. That's because he's not uh, in America. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. Bro. I don't know, man. If I had a brother or who had cancer or whatever, uh, I'd probably you know, suck it up. Yeah, too, it's you, but like, I don't know. Can't Dude, you want, you want to get that money? Can't you want to pay for that cancer? Else. All right. Plot twist, he secretly affected his friend just to get his BD. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, that's messed up. That's pretty fucked up. The man yeah, already man. has cancer, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Relax. It, it was still like, uh, like even when the back guy like slipped and inside, like he could have just absolutely drilled the guy right there instead of just actually like offered like just pick him up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If he would have drilled that, if he would have drilled that dude in the fucking PC bang, that guy would have actually been dead. <laughs> like dislocated jaw, shoulder, uh, fucking jaw, fucking his trachea would have been shattered. He actually would have just been dying. Hey, he's a one punch man, but except this, he had to use a bunch of other stuff. No. Dude, he had to use his, yeah, his all his four stances. His... He had to use his, his FF14 stances. It's not FF14. I don't, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Go with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, and, and like, and still, you know how in the first episode we talked about how, like, that, uh, the man guy, I already forgot his name. Jin? Yeah. Jin Mori. Oh, Jin Mori? Yeah. They say his name so many yeah. times. In the yeah. Bro. Yeah. I, I said Sorry, Jin. I got you. Tuesdays with Mori. That's how you can remember it. Tuesdays with Mori. I got you. <laughs> he just kicks your ass <laughs> instead of gives you good life advice. <laughs> Tuesdays with Mori with Jin. Um, That's right. No, it's a. Uh, so I know like the first episode where, like when we like brought up the comment about how like if, if he was actually that fast, and, like when he like uh, he was like right there with them, they kind of look, looked over and he was just gone. So I think he's actually just that fast after this episode. I mean, it's possible, but still, I think it's just I mean, the, the screenshots or the yeah, the screenshots they're using. Um, I don't yeah, think. Oh man, I don't think he's faster than as fast as that we think he is. Uh, he caught that one dude. I mean, 
I mean, he basically looked like he was just about to take a step forward, and then he was right there. Oh, right. yeah, the administrator. Yep, admin. <laughs> Dude, that guy's Joker well, scythe well, I mean, was intense. Granted, yeah. granted, that was after Jin Mori ate the devil fruit, dude. Yeah. Is that what we're calling yeah, that now? Devil fruit? I mean, what else? <laughs> you, I mean, it was a peach. You want to just call it a peach? I mean, why I not? Why not? Cooler, just call it a devil fruit. I mean, is that what they call it? One piece? Yeah. yeah. The devil okay. fruit? Yeah. Oh, like, devil fruit. Yeah. Although it, it's. It's, it looks more similar to, like, Dragon Ball. I know Brian, you love compared to Dragon Ball. That was straight up Dragon Ball, where you eat the fruit, and then, like, you go through all that pain, and then you come out stronger. It's like Where when, does it happen? Wait, Dragon what Ball? fruit was that? No, no, yeah. well, Goku was... He, when, when Goku had to drink that one thing, that poison, that basically made him stronger. You made the original Dragon Ball? Yeah. Was it Dragon Ball? Yeah. Oh, I never... Okay, I didn't see that. Dude, nobody watched the original Dragon Ball. Dude, it was on Toonami, <laughs> man. Come on. Bro, so long, I'm pretty dude. sure in the original Dragon Ball, Goku was like four feet tall, and yes. he could only do like one sliver of Kamehameha, so nobody was like, eh, whatever. Dude, he has, like, yeah. he has his power dude, play. Dude, has his dude, power play. Okay, nobody wants to go backwards after you see DBZ. Oh my god. Okay. I know, man. DBZ was just at peak. I mean, yeah. he probably just used that pole more than anything. Police brutality, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, my god, is cloud. Cloud, fuck that guy. Like, hey, I'm Goku. You're under arrest. What am I under arrest for? Shut up, sir. <laughs> Ah. Extension pull. That's right. <laughs> um, but I, oh. how did this episode finish? Oh, um, it was the 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 green haired guy. He basically pulled a JoJo and just called a Stan. Have that one like monster the the scythe. Come the in. Joker scythe thing. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of opens up like a whole new thing because it just seemed like you know, everybody just had like you know broken abilities and stuff, but now there's like summons. Or whatever that we want to call them. Stands. Hey, man. I think that peach that he ate probably is going to give him a summon. Yeah. Uh, sounds right. Give him power just like in one piece. <laughs> yep. That, that fucking uh, other... The, like the fucking president career or whatever the fuck he Park? Is. You mean Park? Like, yeah, Park. Whatever Park. That that man knows some shit. Like, he knew his grandfathers. Uh-huh. So, like, he's he probably gave him that fruit, which is like... That man literally started bleeding. He had a heart attack. Was fucking internally bleeding. It was just that fruit is meant to kill people. He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna test them. See what he's made out of." Dude, it's because he has that <laughs> degenerative eye disease that protects him. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't someone else have stars in their eyes? I swear, there's another character they showed that had uh, stars in their eyes. Uh, I think it's Cross, maybe, but I don't think it's a. Uh... Oh, Cross. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Well, I thought like I thought like they were showing like uh, the future shots, like you know when they were talking about his, I think his grandpa. Mm, uh, okay. It seemed like he had he had some sort of a uh, eye thing too. I think his eyes were blue. One. I bet you that blonde guy has star eyes or cross eyes. Actually, oh. good call because his eyes are just closed the entire time, aren't they? Yeah, there's a reason why. Again. No man, I got a high school and it opened it up with that. Uh, the girl who does the Stone Cold Stunner, the American professional oh, yeah. wrestler girl. Of course. Yep. And she's like, my skin is so tough. And she's like, no sword style. Pow, pow. Oh, she would be a really good surgeon if she just would use her powers for that. Like, hey, scalpel. She'd be like, no need. <laughs> it just cuts her patient in half and walks away. <laughs> wow. <Okay. laughs> yeah. Um, I, I love the fights. I, I love the over the top style of it. It honestly reminds me, one of my favorite fighting anime was an OVA called Fatal Fury, the motion picture. And it really reminds me of that, where it's over-the-top street fighting mix of martial artists. And I love it so far. I thought the show was honestly going to be very generic based off the trailer. I'm like, oh, great, another tournament anime, whatever. Oh, I'm loving it, because every episode's throwing you off guard. I, I, For example, the guy with the heavy underwear, the elephant-looking guy, oh, uh, him. Yeah. how... How he was set up to basically be a potentially very difficult opponent, and now he's psychologically messed up to the point where he's, you know, crying into his knees in the hospital, and they're like, <laughs> he's not going to participate anymore. <laughs> so, love it. The music is really cool. I'm not talking about the intro or the outro either. I'm just talking about in general. Like, the music really sets up the atmosphere. Um, yeah, I, the show is hype. Hype, baby. Woo, woo. Um. It's a, to go back, when did Fatal Fury come out? Because I know this this uh, this uh, has been running what, for over ten years. Fatal Fury? No, no, no. Fatal um, Fury. Out of high school. Oh, Fatal Fury came school. out like mid night. I mean, it's based off the game. Yeah, say, it's I, it's been around game. probably right, early nineties. Right, right, right. yeah. When did the when did the game come out then? I wonder if this had like a if this had some sort of like um. Oh god, the original Fatal uh, Fury was like early nineties, wasn't it? 
Yeah, 91 huh. Fatal Fury King of Fighters arcade game. But yeah. the anime itself, I remember it being on sci-fi back in the day with like Ghost in the Shell. 1994 film. Boom. Oh, damn. Okay. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I wonder if this had some sort of like, uh, kind of like where if the person was like a fan. Like whoever started a God of High School, if he was I mean, he kind of a fan of a lot of different Fury. things. Not just... Yeah, yeah that's a good call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's a good call. Um, yeah. I don't know if I have really much else, but yeah, it's it's good. Um, I'm in Brian, all, the, all the way, it, baby. Brian was saying I do think about, that about oh, the. Go ahead. He was saying about like the end. It, it probably is now gonna be Jin versus Han, just because Jin's back in the bracket. So. Yeah. Well, it, on, and of like the three MCs or the you know, three main characters, she, like the girl definitely seems like the weakest of the three. I mean, she almost lost to a wrestler. Come on. Um, <laughs> Did you see them hands the though? Bro, and almost lost hands? a dude using a bat. Man, come on. Right. Dude, I, I, I'm right, fine. I, I, I want to see you yeah, survive a fucking suplex, okay? That's fair. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Two check. I'm good. All right. So I guess we're ended there for God High School. Um, remember my next to Fire Force. Um, so since Sasha, since this is like you were marathoning the first season, and then you now you're cups to a uh, second season. Want well, just your your thoughts so far? All right. Uh, so I think first season definitely was carried by the fights and you watched it more for the animation and the style. The story didn't really get going until about halfway through. I would say when we meet Vulcan and Dr. Giovanni, I think that was the peak of the first season for me, at least the peak of my interest for it. And since that point, it's gotten better and better and better. I will say I'm getting Full Metal Alchemist vibes from it because he's like, my mom's alive and she's a demon. Maybe I can convert her back to a human being, a.k.a. our mom has crossed over into the or my brother's body and I want to get that back. And my mother, maybe we could bring her back to life because she was a victim of us using alchemy. So I'm getting some vibes there and similarities, um, which, is, which is a good and a bad thing. Good because, right, it's showing it's been influenced by something that was fantastic. But then it's bad because it's not pulling it off as well, in my opinion. So the show has a lot of potential. I think this season has had three straight bangers of episodes. Good humor, really, really fantastic action. I think, if anything, the animation has gotten even better and the fights are smoother. It's just a lot more intense from the get go. So um, I love the Eighth Company. I'm not a, I, like my least favorite part of the first season was definitely the episodes around the sisters and the fifth captain. I forgot her name, but I was just like, Oh, this is so corny. Let's, let's get, let's move on from this. Um, but as soon as we started finding out about the, uh, what's, what's it called? A Bola link. Some, somebody help Adola me. Link? Uh, uh, Adola there we go. Adola, yeah. Yeah. yeah Adola. Um, I thought that was good. I'm not a big fan of the KKK and them being the main <laughs> villains. Uh, <laughs> like, ooh, yeah. I, I think they're going to enter into like this like OP realm and you got to fight in their realm and things get weird and the animation is going to result in Shinra I turning mean, into like a skeleton dragon that, and fighting that, them. That realm was basically, uh, that was basically last season with show, the fight against show. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, show has a cool power, but at, at the same time, um, I'm just more interested in how the eighth gets along and how they solve problems together. Like I, I love the part in the first season when they went into the forbidden world. I forgot the name of it already, man. Oh, it's like crazy. The subway system. The nether, the nether. nether realm, basically the subway. Yep. So. Yep. When they went in there, I thought that was really cool to show how basically they could partner up or they could work uh, by themselves. And it shows the strengths of each person. And then to come together and try to battle a big foe, I think, would be the best way to end it. If it's like Shinra versus someone one on one, I'm not going to be that interested in it. But if it's the whole team working together, which I think is the purpose of the show, absolutely. What, you, what have been your thoughts on the supporting cast so far? Like uh, Benny Maru and all the like, all the other like, captains besides like the, the captain of the fifth. Mm, I, I find them pretty entertaining. I patch guy is you know he's like your classic captain he reminds you of kempachi from bleach where he's just like hardcore i'll do what it takes come on fight me baby uh, yeah i really actually like giovanni's character because he's like super logical and he never would do anything out of reason so he's just like i don't understand how this would happen i took every precaution i took every step ah and then i love the fact that he always holds someone else hostage to get what he wants he's just like <laughs> i stabbed him in the kidney he has three minutes to live make your choice now <laughs> <laughs> like he's just so devious but i love his tactics because i would probably borrow them um 
Ar- Arthur, Arthur is the man. I-, I love the humor. I love his samurai thing where he's like, I'm a knight samurai. Or oh, wait, that would make me a samurai. I'm a samurai knight. <laughs> uh, the lieutenant, too, and him wearing the weird bunny outfit. <laughs> oh, so I think the girls are, you know, they, 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 I, too much fan service at points where it's just glaringly obvious. I do like this one part from the first uh, season where basically they sent out like the monster guy who was supposed to destroy everybody in just a matter of minutes. And he's sending out these giant bullets of lava, basically. And the girl jumps into him. He touches her breast. And then he gets so embarrassed that they're able to just beat the shit out of him and move on past his character. So I thought that was a good way to use it. But in general, it's just like, oh, I'm wearing my bikini. Oh, you're like, oh, come on. And then the nude calendar thing. I like how that kind of subverted the fan service where they went from all this bikini and cleavage shots to all of a sudden just a bunch of topless dudes <laughs> in snake poses. So I think the show is very self-aware of itself. So it's... uh. It's it's fun, man. I, I like Fire Force. Yeah, it's nice. it's it, I like, it's getting uh, like every episode so far um, this season. I think has just been solid. Um, it's I'm also interested in the new, uh, the new. Um, God, what, what, yeah, the new. The fifth, well, fifth I don't, yeah, I guess for her, I don't really care as much for. It's actually more of like the supporting, like the other side. Um, I, I don't even know the actual name of like the enemies. Um. I only know it of. Like, like what, what's their religion called or whatever they're supposed to be? Evangelists? Oh, yeah, evangelists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eva- evangelists. I'm, I'm wondering, the, like, well, I'm actually the, interested in the, the next evangelist one. Evangelist is the main guy. I don't know the actual name. The okay. Religion. Gotcha. So. Well, we'll just, we can just call it for that. Or we can just call it that for now. But, like, the main the main guy that, that Shinra is fight, fighting right now just seems like a beast. Um, Charon or whatever? or Yeah. Oh, yep. I gotta say, I wish I had that power when that one guy touched his shoulder and he just blew half his body away. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> there are so many times where you're standing in line and someone actually bumps into you. <laughs> or I wish you just blow half their body away and then be like, "Hey, you spilled something. Pick it up and just walk Jesus. away." <laughs> That's not weird. expecting that kind of shit. I was like, "Holy shit!" Right? That Dude, shit was that's... crazy. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, that was a that was a very intense scene. If anything, uh, I'd be that boy panda looking at him and just crying like, "Oh, that's my boy!" <laughs> <laughs> and his little hype thing, um, or his little hype thing he did does with like his crew, oh, yeah. his uh, crew. I don't know if it's actually a power up or just to get himself hyped up. I've no clue. Dude, I do that shit. Yeah. Dude, I wonder if he's like the uh, the villainous version of Arthur in a sense, where he's got to get hyped up in a sense to be a lot stronger. Oh yeah. I, I think I think him and him versus Arthur will probably be like the main matchup like later on. Um, nah. I want to say it's gonna be Lightning Girl because he's his plasma sword is the only thing that can counter it. It seems like or negate it at least. Him, I I could see him and Captain almost because Captain has no powers and he's just like physically trying to impose his will on people. But I don't know. Like, but we'll see. Hmm. KKK. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Dude, but Pink Girl, uh, Pillar, or whatever her name is, mm. we just call her Pillar Emily. Uh, Pillar Five. <laughs> Pillar Five. Five. All of I was just referring to Pillar Five, and she's like, "Hey guys, I just want to make some friends. Come here, girl. I'm coming in my van." And her power reminds me so much of Demon Slayer because when he like senses that weak line and he could cut the enemy and destroy them, that's mm. immediately what I thought of. I was like, "Oh, Demon Slayer. She's just like him. Yes. Yeah. She smells too." Or she smells like this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I, I, if you had that power, would you do it for the same thing? Would you basically just rush to the person's house that's on fire? It's like I could save you, but you're gonna have to. But it's gonna cost you. Oh, uh, I have yeah. a list of people I would do that to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, former manager from this workplace. <laughs> Remember that time I went on vacation and you said no. <laughs> it's. I don't, it's I don't know. It's with the supporting cast of uh, or like the supporting cast of Evangelist, like we're, like we're seeing able to actually like, they seem like way too strong. It definitely seems like it's one of those where, uh, like they're not going to resolve the fight here. Like there's some things that's going to happen where it's just going to have to call it off because it just seems way too soon. I mean, it's only what episode three, and they're just throwing like they're throwing all the stuff at us already. Well, I don't think he's too bad of an enemy. Just the fact that he seems to be just like a a, a physical enhancement kind of guy. I don't right. think. He- has any crazy uh, uh, pyro powers? So I think it's 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 fine from a short. Right. I mean, he I mean he's blowing people up with just like just touching them and 
Yeah, yeah but it seems like he's destroying Shinra too. Right, but it's just like pure brute strength, you know. It's if that's all he okay. has, like kind of like how the the whistle guy, he's able to buff other people, but yeah. he's able to do it to himself. If that's all he has, he's really not much of a threat, honestly. The whistle guy's awesome. Th- right. Sasha, your thoughts on uh, that the, the fight in episode two? Um, you know what? I just think he needs to talk more and whistle, and that would be that would be about that, honestly. Like, pretty generic character, but I would love to just. They w- it would have been even better if he's just like, hoo, 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 hoo. but especially to like a life threatening moment where he's like telling a little girl she needs to leave the house. She's like, "What are you saying?" He's like, <laughs> you just see a giant two by four fall in her hand, and he's like, boo, boo. "She's like, what are you saying?" Uh, yeah, but, I, yeah. I thought that he was awesome. I thought like you know you know really don't see like the supporting roles with like where it's like buffing. Uh, at least that's true. The, it hasn't been too uh, too common. And then also like the you know, like the the old guy as well. Like that oh, whole dude. thing with uh, basically been playing as like the bard, the tank, and the knight, and basically this guy's just losing it. That guy was uh, hilarious. First of all, I love that voice. So that w- voice actor is uh, phenomenal. But I just love the fact that he's just like, I need to feel that flame, boy. Give me that flame. <laughs> 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 like imagine going into your boss's office, and the first thing he does is like, yo, man, let me feel that fire in my skin. <laughs> I'm like, okay, boss, you got it. Whatever you need, sir. Oh. <laughs> Am I going to oh. see my family again? <laughs> oh. I, don't know. I don't know. Anybody? Any other thoughts? I don't know. You basically Where's said... Joker? Dude, we haven't seen Joker oh, for... Oh, okay, you're right. We haven't seen him. Yeah. Yeah. I actually like Joker's character, too, because you know he has some he has some shit that's going on. He he might be... Okay, this is one case where I did watch the opening, Stratton. In the opening, they show him and his left eye merging with the right eye of Eye Patch Guy. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if they are linked in any way, like in the past or something. Yeah, like yeah. during that, you know, uh, yeah. burning or whatever. The yeah, yeah, well, from like the whatever that incident was, where it seems like a lot of people they, like somehow got scarred by the like, in the realm or burned from it. I like saw permanent. the truth. Yeah. I saw the truth and I got the Adola link. <laughs> ah, ah, you let me feel it, boy. You let me feel it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, the, but the older, the older guy didn't get like enough though. Cause I think it's like where you have like, uh, for like the link, it wasn't like they had to give up something or, in a, or they lost something in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. He's got scarred and the other guy lost his eye. Yeah. So this, the scar wasn't enough. He got to feel it, but that was it. And Shinra lost his ability to not smile when he's nervous. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I, I, I still think like somebody's gonna like come in during this fight. I don't think it's just gonna be Shinra face brute strength or anything like that. Like, like I, I'm telling you, I think it's gotta be Arthur, unless they bring out the like the captain, maybe like brute strength. Like brute strength. The previous talks, yeah. yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah I don't it think was... he's beat him one by one because they're all coming, right? It's base. It's it's just Shinra got there first. Yep. I, I right? so, okay. Yeah. Okay. I think there's even possibility of another team jumping in there, especially with a guy who can fly on broomsticks, Mary yeah, Poppins. Kinda, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they, they kinda, they, that was kind of a flag. Yeah, that was kind of a flag because it, they, they they were kind of going through a whole thing like, oh, you will receive no help, and so it's like, well, somebody's gonna probably help them now. Yep. So that was guarantee a, you. Depressed Mary Poppins coming in there. So. Dude, Betty Mara was awesome. When you when you're oh, that's, that's Benny Mara. I was like, yeah. when you said that name, I'm like, dude, isn't that name oh. of a restaurant? But yeah. <laughs> <The Benny Mara>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's like he was like one of my like her, he still is like one of my favorite characters. I mean, when your ability is basically you know, like you're igniting flames and throwing mops at people, flaming mops, you gotta be pretty good. Uh, he is. I like his uh his boy, the one who sacrificed his body basically to defeat one of the demon infernals. Yeah. Mm. Yep. That guy's awesome too. I don't know, the supporting cast is really, really strong in the show. Yeah, it's definitely grown on me. I like how the eighth team came together. Like I said, Vulcan and his crew, I, I got the most love for them. Yeah. Yeah. Think I'm good? Anybody else? No. Closing thoughts? No. Uh... Brian, wh- where were you at here, man? I didn't hear your voice once. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's, it's that time. I was kind of lost in this a little bit, not really. I mean, I think Pink Hair Girl, Fifth Pillar, her power is pretty cool. She can, like, predict people's movements and shit from heat. And, and she can she draw. Unlocked, and then, yeah, she unlocked her drawing attack ability. She was like, oh, shit, start, finish, boom. Uh, big guy against Shinra, that man's getting his ass whooped. Um, that, that boy is getting the beat down. 
big man, dude, his powers are insane. I hope I hope his entourage is actually like his power that he needs. So that every time he like fucking screams charge and they count and then it keeps going and then they say overpower him and it just keeps going hyping and I'm like, dude, I'm about to join these guys and fucking <laughs> count with them, man. I was like, let's go. One, two, three, whoop his ass. Dude, it, like the first thing when he's like basically like doing the whole hype up, but all of a sudden he's just like, you know, steps and he's basically just blowing up everything in his path. When he started step. saying step and he's just blowing shit up behind, I was like, dude, he's like blowing up his own men. <laughs> This guy's the uh, ultimate alpha, man. Damn, I'd be Brian that guy and his team in the back who just <laughs> runs away. <laughs> this guy would straight up be Tyler one. Uh, Hell yeah, he would. Yeah. Good episode. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So good. Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> there for uh, Fire Force from what next to Sword Art. Because, you know, we love talking about the show. I love Brian. Do it. Honestly, all right. So, like the first, I'm gonna just start this out. Like the, I saw <laughs> like 20 minutes of this whole episode. I was like, dude, I don't give a shit about this. And then my man, my fucking hero, dude, blue-haired alpha dad. I forgot his name. Where is he? Bercoli. Bercoli. Yeah. Bercoli. However you say his name. Blue B. Fucking. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I hope that animation they had for that fight. Was the best animation for the entire series because this man is like the ultimate MVP, dude. The fight, spot on. Animation, amazing. Everything else in the, like, I forgot all the shit that happens in this show just because <laughs> of that one fight. I was so immersed. I was like, this guy's a fucking god. He beat the ultimate boss. And it wasn't, I was so excited when it wasn't Kirito that beat this guy. I was like, oh, no. this, dude, what the hell is, is that? The best power, shit ever. Man. His character and his weapon, his weapon is just so, is just so strong. Oh, dude, tears were coming on my eyes because I like <laughs> this guy more than the MC. Yep. And, and then mean, he died. Hard. I'm like, dude, even the <laughs> dragon. Oh, <laughs> the blue eyes. <laughs> oh my god, the dragon came in and saved his life for two seconds. Yeah. And it beat the boss, dude. I was like, <laughs> oh my god, dude. I can't. I couldn't. I yeah. was, it was just too much. And then the. Was Alice his daughter? No, no but he I, kind of feels as a kid. He has a kid, right? He has a kid. No, the, it's the purple it's unborn. Yeah, it's not yeah, born. Yeah, unborn yet. kid, right? Yeah. yeah. And then he was like, dude, protect our child. I was like, no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the will of this man lives on. I was like, when she started crying, I started to cry. I was like, dude, this is the climax of the show. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I can't see this show getting any better after this episode, I don't think. Because after this, I don't care about the MC. I don't care about any of the other supporting <laughs> cast. It's just going to be power, friendship, and love. Because the whole the <laughs> whole premise of getting Kirito out of a coma is by flooding the server with people that have memories of Kirito. I'm like... And they're making it sound all scientific when it's basically all he has to just straight up do is say power of friendship. And I like how they even mentioned, too, where it's, it's like, oh, it's not as poetic as that. It's like, no, it's, it's yeah, not. I was yeah. like... They but have to know, right? They, <laughs> that's the only reason why they put that in. It's like, it can't be that poetic to just do that. It's like, I, you guys are going to do that shit, dude. Yeah, it's, oh, uh, God. But no, it's, again, dude, it's another character that this writer just takes out that was just so good that they, like, where I would I would be perfectly fine knowing more about this guy's backstory. I'd be fine dude, with him just moving you know on. What? I would have been perfectly fine with the whole 20 minute episode was just about this guy. Yeah, that's too. <laughs> too. <laughs> Throw me a filler episode, dude. I don't care. Give me this guy. <laughs> yeah. Like his oh. abilities, man, were just. I, I think that sword's ability is just it's just it was so good. What a legend. <laughs> I'm so glad this is the guy that beat the fucking king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you know, he has they have a, they have their own account that they can uh you know turn oh, into right. a, a, even more a, even more of a godly account. Is it well, I don't know because the one no, he had I don't was think it's godly. The one he had right now is the OP God account. Yeah, so. the one he... I, unless they do some fucking stupid shit. They're gonna they're like, one. JK, we can yep. just revive the old account you had. Like, recover a deleted character. And like, if they do that, I'm gonna be like, dude, fuck you guys, man. Or, or they're gonna basically somehow, like, like his account is just, like, broken as well. Or his real account is broken or some st just it's stupid really shit. Where it's, yeah, which, it's somehow like, stronger which than a God account. Make, yeah, it, it shouldn't make any sense to have it stronger than a God account, so... I don't know I how they're top it, all, but whatever. All I'm gonna say is, if they make a guy that's even stronger and throw him back in just so that he fights Kirito and steal the spotlight away from my hero, my <laughs> legitimate hero, 
I I'm legit giving this show like a solid four out of ten. <laughs> no, but based on the OP, it, it kind of seems like it's gonna go that way, right? It Please don't like, say that. like I no, ignore but... the OP at this point, man. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna Just say anything. throw this guy this fight as the OP. <laughs> The whole minute and a half OP. Just show this fight now, and I'll be happy. So I just I just assume like Kirito is not going to show up until like the second to last episode, and it's basically just going to show the war of everybody else, and then just getting their asses kicked, and like that last person is going to reach out to Kirito with the with the with the friendship, and then wake him up. Yeah, it's going to be Yujiro, dude. Fucking tool. I'm pretty sure Jeez. Kirito's probably going to come back in the next few episodes. Dude, he's a literal tool. So. I'd rather I'd rather have yu <laughs> be the one instead of Asuna because it's just like, come on, we don't need to see like Asuna. Basically, it's just like, you know, where she's trying to wake him up again. And then it's just give me, yeah, get, go, go yu I guess. If I had to choose. No, just, back, just bring back Macaulay somehow. That, that's all we need. It's yeah, it's like, uh, yeah. Well, it's like, Oh shit! So I probably so the, um like way earlier on like um who was it that Kirito saved? Was it Kirito or Yujiro that saved with like you know how they he saved their 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 AI memory or whatever it was? Um, where he had like like he only had like two keys. He was supposed to use one for uh for Alice, but then he used another one on somebody else. I don't remember. Do you remember that way back? No. Okay. Okay. Where I, I swear, like I think it was the purple hair girl. I think that's the person that they saved. Where um. But I oh shit okay that's okay I'll, I'll have to like somehow look it up later, but I was just wondering if they had any more of that if there's any way that, that they're able to actually like save some of these people's like AI memories or whatever it is the base you know for like oh, a, like when like when administrator like sealed them away. No, it was um, it was not the administrator, but it was that other girl that gave him like a key or something that basically like only gave one to Yujio, only gave one to Kirito, and then uh, the plan was to use one of them for Alice, and then I don't, the other one was supposed to be just for somebody I think. Um, I don't know if it was for so, if they had somebody else I already in mind. This, this. Sorry, this is yeah, this is a this is quite a while back. Um, Brian, do you know? Do you remember this at all or no? Who? Um, the key things that basically were like they're able to like save like their AI memories or their flux light flux, whatever the hell the light flux light. <laughs> no, I did. Okay, I don't I don't care nearly enough about the show. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I, I remember what you're talking about, but yeah, I, don't yeah, I do it. too. But it's uh, like I, I'm okay. pretty sure he used one on somebody, and then he has one more. But man's in a okay. coma, so he can't really do shit. <laughs> it's fair too. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I shouldn't really think too hard about logic for this show. Nope. Um, so there was also what is it, another moment too where, um, oh god, what was it? Like the, the guy with the fucking glasses when they're trying to figure out like they found like a you know back door way the, of getting the, the, the IT guy. <laughs> Yeah, the fucking IT guy. And this guy's like, oh, I would never have thought that they would have been able to recruit, you know, like basically people from the U.S. I'm like, yeah, there's no rules go for this, this apparently this world. Like, everybody can just flood it. <laughs> like, it's just with no kind of, like, where it's just easy. No, no, and the only thing you do is you hero. lose your data. He's got to be a hero to sneak. I wasn't even following his explanation. He just got sneaked down to oh, the yeah. main control. Yeah, dude, oh, I... oh, and then he got, he's got to bring his awesome oh. robot, just have it fucking walk down the stairs <laughs> and try to bait <laughs> You're trying to bait like yeah. U.S. Marines, Special Forces yeah. over here, fucking ro- janky robot. Oh my god, dude! It was just like I'm listening to this, and like I, I think like my hand was like over my face, and thinking like, oh my god, like we're really going down this path. And then like he's not going to be the guy to die because they had some random guy, guy. that we've never heard of that basically just like, oh, I'll offer up my life. It's like, well, that man literally guy. said, "I'll take a bullet." I'm like. Yeah. Okay, yep. dude. Yeah, way to introduce a literal nobody character so that we don't give a shit when he dies. Like, yeah, I want to see someone that matters die in this show. Like, one of the oh, fucking two funny. chicks that showed up later, Asuna, like, legitimately die. Leafa, maybe legitimately die. Somebody actually die, dude. Put some yeah. risk on the table, man. I don't care if Kirito's in a coma, because I don't know if Power of Love and Friendship is going to revive him anyways. But, but, but Berkeley died. Doesn't that count? Dude... He is like forever immortalized <laughs> in my soul. Okay, <laughs> that man will never die because legends never die. Exactly. Dude, next that cosplay. Man. Do it. If I got tan enough, I get, if I grew like <laughs> fucking six inches in height, dyed my hair, fucking was fabulous as fuck, had dark lines highlighting all my figures around my body. Dude, I'd never do it. <laughs> Like, dude. give me real life animation on his quality. I'll definitely do it, dude. Get right, on man. it, David. We can. Uh, we'll have. Uh, we'll have Peter be your blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. 
All right, Peter, we're going to need you to touch back with us about that. We can make it work. It'll be fine. Uh, oh, God. Let's see. What else? Was there anything else I wanted to say? You guys can, if anybody else no, wants to I jump just, in. It was just a fight. I mean, like. Uh, yeah, honestly, this fight itself carried the fucking episode yeah. so hard. Because I think also legit. Yeah. They, spent, they spent 15 minutes explaining how they're going to sneak into a certain floor of a goddamn yeah. submarine in order to do some shit online. It's like, I don't care, dude. Just say you're going to sneak in, do some shit, and send robots to distract. And I like how, and I like how they try to bring up a second robot to do some shit. They're like, "Yeah, there's no point. He doesn't have a balancer. You can't do any shit." It's like, why even bring him up, dude? I don't care. <laughs> I think I beat him later, probably. It's, just, it's like the only excuse to bring him up now. Actually, though, dude, these are just giving bad names to IT guys, man. Like this guy is the worst fucking IT. Guy. How the hell did he get this job? This is supposed to be like a top security job, and this fucking scrub gets like this top tier job, and he's just basically it's like, oh. You know, we're not going to put any passwords on God accounts. Well, you know, whatever. It's fine. And then it's just like all, you know, all these other things where it's just like, oh, I can't believe, you know, basically just floods of people are, are coming in. And another one where, um, God, what the hell was the other one? Where it's just like, uh, or this whole backdoor thing to basically save Kirito didn't come up sooner. Like, they've, they've only been, like, or, waiting or, here for hours and hours. Or, like, they didn't have a backup, like, an image backup. <laughs> Again, IT guy. Oh, God. <laughs> he didn't oh, backup God, Kirito's yeah. data. It's like, I don't yeah. understand this like, like the logic and some of this shit is stupid. Like at the same time, this guy, like the only reason they brought extra fucking IT dude to help him is one, take a bullet, and two, so that he knows where the cables are. This main dude that works on the fucking ship and all that shit is like, yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna do this, but I don't actually know where it is. This is how he... So I'm gonna give this dude a reason to come with me. I was this... like, thanks, oh, dude, you fucking useless. This cuck. is how you know the author. Like he's just he's just a writer. He doesn't know anything about technology or games. Oh god. So, yeah, just some, some some dude just writing fanfics that somehow got popular. Yeah, they have a backup for the power of friendship. And then I was gonna say the only other thing that happened is just like it's the front lines of Asuna and like everyone else, like all the other like before you were uh, really. Interrupted. I was gonna say like like final <laughs> thoughts is like if they really want to milk the sword art like franchise. A way they could do it, like, legit, just give an entire season to this man. Right? <laughs> I will legit watch the whole Bricoli, like, like whole season. Like, 24, 12, 24, 32, 64, I don't care. If it just gives me an in-depth story of this man and his journey to greatness, I will fucking watch it, dude. Well, there... This guy is, like, top ten characters for me. There is a spin-off manga dude, where, it... like... Um, about Elization, where I want it animated though. Where you like understand? I want it animated <laughs> like it was today. Where it's just like, like this animation, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, yeah. So there's a spinoff manga where it's like where it's uh Kirito pretending he's like the in-game no. character, and so that's the only other time. <laughs> no, see it. I don't want Kirito. I don't want Asuna. I only want Bercoli, dude. That's the only time that's you're ever the see only him. Only character I want. later. So. Yeah. His sword is like the equivalent of like Sword of a Thousand Truths or whatever that one was from. Uh, Hell yeah, from dude, this man a legit truths. fucking yeah. cut through the past, yeah. rewound time. Just, uh, yeah. I, that whole, that whole on, scene dude. was really sick. I but, have yeah. a giant heart on for this man because he is my hero, man. I would eat his hair for his power. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going all might in this. Um, Wrong yeah. enemy, but okay. Yeah, but uh, was the last thing though? Asuna has healing powers as well. So Leafa and Asuna both have, you know, basically god power. Uh, I don't know if it was like it's probably Asuna, but it's like the spirit of like her fairy AI daughter or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Oh yeah. What if it's what if it's, what if it's her healing is the power of friendship too? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, we the, can move on. You know, the real, the real, the real I'm gonna leave on the high the, note, dude. <laughs> the real powers are the friends we made along the way. So that's it for Sword Art. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on to Shokugeki. Oh god! More and more I disappointment, love show, man. dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Like best episode three ever. You know what's crazy? I watched episode three and I realized I didn't finish episode. Two. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> like I stopped at like probably like 17 minutes into episode two. I probably never got back to it. I watched episode three the first five minutes. Like what the fuck are they talking about, dude? <laughs> and I went back to episode two oh. and I was like, oh, so they're really they're literally fighting over a girl. Strand, dude, they made your uh, favorite. They made that. Yeah. They made that tonkatsu. They did, and I, I, I destroyed both of those dishes. Um, dude, I'm kind of like, I, I, I don't know. Like this guy's basically. I know, like, he, like at first seems like they have the cop, like he has the copycat ability, 
but really it's basically just them in a sense kind of being related because they both were you know trained by the by the by uh Selma's dad yeah, um, yeah. so that's kind of like that kind of whole thing was it's it was just whatever um I mean I, I really don't care at all about this guy like they're, they're, I just have no hype for him I don't care about him and um and of course then you know, during their match uh, you know, but of course, it's an uh, every time that they have an, a match that doesn't actually matter, and Soma's involved. You know, this man's gonna lose. It's happened every single time. It's like the only way that he get, he actually like improves in a sense. I mean, it's Shonen um, man. It's Shonen too. Yeah, I suppose. I, I, I really shouldn't be too hard on Shoko Gaki like that. I don't know. You can. It's, it's just, just uh, like, It's just common show and show. Yeah, it, it could have been. It could have definitely done been done better. I just. Um, I just want to say like. They tried so hard to hype up the noir, like the under underworld cooking like chef side. It's like this is so dumb. It's, like, it's basically just gonna be like it's just gonna be rigged again, and it's just and it's just and again takes it away from the actual like cooking stuff. I mean, uh, to, be, to be fair though, it's a better villain than uh, Central, so I guess I don't I, mind it as I much. Guess. I still don't really care about the guy. Yeah, like, I yeah, I don't care about him at all. Yeah. But the only thing that I really cared about was the fact that they were going to introduce Soma's mom. Like, yeah, that, that was actually cool finally some some yeah. lore, you know, something yep. to kind of run back and figure out like who who is this amazing woman that was able to like tame Soichiro, deal with them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. So hopefully they go more into that, and it makes me feel like they might go into more of uh, Erina's mom as well because they did show in the opening with like a like a white face. So maybe they'll go more into that as well too. What, what if Soma's mom is Erin's mom? Dude, we already went through this, man. <laughs> we I'm just kidding. About that. I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, that'll, that'll be some incest shit if that was the case, right? Um, but no, I don't think that's the case. No, I don't. I, I was just, I was just making, just made, I was just saying shit. Um, I also, uh, I don't know. It's like the show's really never kind of depicted any kind of romance, which is perfectly fine with me. But then, but then at the end of the show, where you just know where that next level of cooking is going to come from, where it's like his the last thing Soma doesn't know is basically just oh. making it like being, <laughs> dedicate just, your cooking to someone. Dedicate your cooking to somebody you love. I'm thinking, oh Christ! So uh, yeah. Oh, so now we got the power of we got power of friendship and sword art. We got power of love. Well, we could always it could also be friendship in this too, but I just assume that they're just kind of pushing for the whole you know Aaron up pairing, pairing considering they're. Um, well, one end is fighting for her in a sense, um, and I also thought like th- like she was just gonna like it was. I thought they were, like sh- sh- Erina was gonna have to cook right there with oh, against I him. Too. Yeah, I thought yeah, and I thought like oh my god, so she's gonna get captured and then someone's gonna have to rescue her or something like that. But then they like, you know cleared it up and they basically yeah. just verify that so it's only gonna be doing. It I'm glad that didn't happen because it gives oh, me the yeah. chance, maybe maybe the possibility that maybe Erina will like have the cook like the epic cook off. And just show, show some skills. Yeah, I don't. Erin is gonna lose. Again, like I, I think s- like the the blue competition. Like I don't want. Like we we already saw like 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 Megami and Soma and like and Taku, like Aldini from the last one. It's just gonna be the same people again. So yeah, it's it it, it sucks. Um, <clears throat> I it's uh, I, I I don't know. It's. I mean, it's, it's, doing a lot, it's, it's doing a lot better than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. Uh, I kind of really? thought it would be more of a shit show than this. Yeah, like, I, didn't have, I didn't have much to complain about <laughs> or like, feel bad about. Like, I don't know why, but I think it's due to the past. I think it might be due to the sword art, but uh, you know how like that guy was able to hop into like Erina's bedroom? I was kind of thinking that those people like a rape scene that's going to occur as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, like, oh man, sword I know where this is going. You, man. Sword art. Yeah, and it really has. And then I was like, okay, oh thank God. They didn't go that they, they didn't go through that route. Okay, that's good. This the show has like like something about it. This the show is etchy, but it doesn't it doesn't cross that line. I mean, I don't know, dude. She was he was able to like like sneak into a bedroom with a bunch of guys, like easily could have gone through that route. Easy, but apparently I'm, I'm glad you, they didn't. Yeah, you can just break into anybody's rooms that's like on the top floor. Easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, God, what else was it? I, I think, I, I mean, really, because you know, cause we already know this is the final arc, so I assume it's just going to come down to uh, um, it's just going to come down to Soma and the final guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think Arina will be able to face because uh, I think, do we know if Arina is actually going to be in this tournament or is she only going to be yeah, like she, overseeing? I mean, she's going to be in it? She's, she's part guy, of it. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah. I, so, I, I would assume that she's going to lose to him. <laughs> and then Soma's going to take over because you know, he's the MC, and it's the final arc. 
Yeah. Yep. Hopefully, like we get some some like focus on the cooking because like <laughs> this this drama stuff just you... isn't working. Like I want to see the cooking. Well, it's like they skipped the entire cooking scene, and they're basically it's like, and they're just saying like, oh, like he did this, he did that. It's like they were fucking right there. They should have been able to see this. They shouldn't have to explain it to us. We should be should have been able to see it. Where they like in the previous like early seasons where they go through the whole process of cooking, but it's like in their head, and then you you can go with them, and then maybe they have like one twist or one kind of thing at the end. But this they have to basically go through the entire thing with us at the end of it when they're like reviewing it, and I'm just like, it's it's terrible. Like it's yeah. just it's it. I mean it it looks good. That's it. But I would still like them if they focus a little bit more on the cooking. But you know, I only remember. Like eggs being whipped and cabbage <laughs> being cut. That's literally the only thing I remember. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's it. And then just black cheese that just looked absolutely disgusting. Oh, dude, there's nothing wrong with eggplants and cheese mix. Uh, oh, no, I'd still eat it. I would still destroy that. I thought but... it was teriyaki sauce first. When he first the fan's friend would just drink the cheese straight out of the pot. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'll get back to you if that ever happens. <laughs> I got nothing else though. Yeah, yeah, I don't have much else to say about this. Yeah, I think I think not, last season not, was just not was just... the exciting return of Shukaki that. Yeah. Even though I mean, we didn't I, have much I, hopes for, it anyways. Yeah, well, it's a backup coup though. I mean, I definitely think like I mean, the last season was just so bad that it's it's really hard to match up with how bad that season was. Mm-hmm. So, with the introduction of lore, I'm hoping it's not going to be as bad as I think it as I think it was going to be. I, I still don't think it's going to be good, but I don't think it's going to be nearly as bad as we were kind of worried about with those first couple episodes. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Yeah. Brian? What? Do you think it's going to be as good or as bad as last season? What, the remaining of this season? Yes. Uh, last season was the blue, right? No, last no. season was uh, facing. Good. No, this season's blue. Last season was yeah, central. This- Oh yeah, central. Uh, it has potential to be like maybe one point higher. That's about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is alright. High, high confidence, but I think we're good. All right. Better than being lower than last year. <laughs> That's true. At <laughs> <laughs> least right. something like looked worse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's true. Yeah. All right. So that's gonna be Shogeki. Um, do I want to read zero? Sorry, have you been watching it all? God damn that's it! A solid. Nope. nope. <sighs> I have not. All right. Sorry, man. I was I was planning on it. I watched so many shows. Like I had, I caught up to everything. I caught up to all my trash shows that don't matter because we're not going to mention those on the stream. And I forgot about ReZero. Of course. You so did. maybe next week I'll be. So of course you did. Okay. I guess, uh, yeah. I guess me and Cool carry week, ReZero week. for now. Oh God, freaking certain dude. Dude, oh, I'll 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 be with you guys no, no, next we week. We know you're just okay? a hater. Yeah. You're just a hater. Dude, oh, it's yeah. been so, okay, because Three Zero comes out on Wednesday, so it's like it's like the the show that I've watched. I because I watch it on Wednesdays or Thursdays, so it's like the the last the, the first show I watch of the week. So it's hard to remember what happens during the trying to recall what happens. So, but basically, um, I remember like it's like the emphasis of um the sanctuary. So apparently, like um, fuck, what was the clown guy's name again? Um. Roswell? Roswell, yeah. Roswell and Ram are at the sanctuary and and then so there's all this, this set up just to get them to the sanctuary and then mm. and then that, that one random like like beast girl it's the maid now in the mansion, but I don't even know that if that matters because we're not even gonna be in the mansion. And then also like like um Beatrice somehow she knew about um like geese or whatever, like beetle geese. Yeah. She, and then somehow she, something about like um Subaru, like some some sort of connection of Subaru and like the the book of like the cult, the witch's cult. So there's that too. Mm-hmm. So so I guess we have we have interesting setups. We still don't really like have like the oh, and also I should mention too, like the, the very end, it shows um the witch of greed. Is that who it was? Yeah, that's what they said. It was the witch. I forgot her name, but it, it's the witch of greed. Oh yeah, I just remember her name it was like Echidna or something. Yeah, yeah, Echidna, Echidna. Yeah, that was her name, but and she's the witch of greed. Yeah. So because so we have Satalia as the witch of jealousy, which you know looks like like Amelia for some reason. Now we have um the it- Echelia, Echidna, like the witch of greed, and I thought that was Amelia too at first, but mm-hmm. so, like there's some like 
Um, there's some differences between her and Amelia, but like, but yeah, she's which agreed. I'm assuming she's gonna be like the main villain of this arc. Is she, is she the one that summoned Subaru to this uh the, to this world, or no? Am I mixing that up with someone else? I they didn't they didn't say. I think that's still Satelia. I okay. think Satelia is like the main one that caught up surrounding Subaru. I think which agrees that be someone else. Yeah, I don't know. It's at first it didn't really seem like this story was gonna go anywhere, and then it like to, to be honest with you, I I didn't really get like the first half of this episode. I felt like it didn't really go anywhere. They threw in a new character out of nowhere. All of a sudden, like Beatrice apparently is offended that Subaru had the book from when he killed Beetlegus or Beetlegeese or whatever, and she just threw him out. So there's something going on there as well, and it feels like they're just throwing too much lore at you, and then they throw up like uh, Echidna like at the end. So I feel like this episode is just like all setups for the next couple episodes. Yeah. That's just going to be I, like a giant banger. It just feels like one of those things where like I think if they try to do it in like the anime, it would feel like too slow pace. So right. I don't blame them too much for doing that. I kind of I'm kind of actually glad they like they went ahead to like Echidna and I'm assuming the sanctuary. It was really kind of weird that like um when like cuz um the the maid for Frederica, she gave like that that crystal to Amelia. And like mm. it started glowing, and I don't know why Subaru thought it was a bad thing. I thought the whole thing about the crystal was supposed to help him pass through the forest, and he just took it off and and then and grabbed it from her, and then like he just got carried away. So that was that part was really weird to me. Like I don't know why he thought it was mm. like, a bad thing. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. In the end, uh, he's just doing what he thinks is best, and usually his his gut feelings have been pretty right so far. So I I think it's fine. But yeah, I was also kind of confused too. Hopefully, like, it, it would be that that's the cause of why Amelia disappeared in the first place, and then made a transform to a kidna or something, and then he's super is going to die, and it's going to revert before to this moment, and then he won't take it off. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they'll kind of play out the different routes. Yeah, and also, yeah, because when I just remember, too, when he was leaving the mansion, like, um, when Petra was giving that, that handkerchief, and, like, they're giving, the, they're mm-hmm. waving goodbyes, like, I don't know, like, that part was, like, it just seems like there's some more going on there that like that they're not telling us because it's it seemed like she kind of knew that like he was gonna be gone for a while too. So it's just like like people in the mansion like know something that they're not telling. It's like Subaru and Amelia. So yeah, it's like hey, good luck. You know, I hope that you do well. And then they drop all these subtle hints that they know more than what they actually let on. And it's like, why don't you just tell me, man? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm going to this like crazy ass forest oh. meet Roswell and oh. the others. And then Roswell too, he gave that letter to the, the maid too, like saying like uh. the directions too. And she said, I I did exactly as you told me to. So so basically like when she was like saying how um like she was like being like coy with them and like not giving them like straight answers too. I think that was also part of the directions. So Yeah, so it's all just like mind games at this point. Because everything's been staged out apparently yeah. according to Roswell. So it's 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 really weird. It leaves you with a lot of questions. So uh, I mean, I'm interested in what happens next. I guess they got they got me there. Like I'm really interested in like what the hell is going on. Like Yeah. Like I never I never trusted Roswell in the first place and this this makes it all way more sketchy. <laughs> like everything. I mean it's not like I never trust the guy, it's just they just don't give off enough information about him, you know? Like, not enough backstory about him. It seemed like the first season, like, seemed like he was always sending in Ram to spy on Subaru. Because, like, I, I mean, it's it's understandable because he's just with this random guy that pops out of nowhere that just saved Amelia and knows more mm-hmm. than he should. So, yep. But it seemed like he was always sending in Ram to spy on him. And now this whole thing of, like, the setup that he's giving to Subaru and Amelia, like, it's just it's so sketchy. Well, and also with Roswell, I find it weird how he's just like all powerful lord, but he's never there when they need him the most. Which I'm pretty sure if he was there, he could easily have taken care of all the like uh, the, the problems that they were having. Yeah, like, you like know? the like the the second the second half of the first season where like where the the cult invading the village and stuff. Like, he wasn't there at all. Like he only showed yeah. up during the first um, loop when like when they were killing the the, the magic beast, or whatever. Mm-hmm. So. So yeah, I don't know. There's lots of mysteries in this show. So and all I know is that all I know is I remember um the the first PV of the second season it showed like Subaru just walking down like this field with a bunch of dead bodies, and at the end, 
I thought it was I thought it was like some sort of like dark Amelia or twin Amelia, but then it was um it was which agreed, she was at the table, like taking a sip of tea and looking at Subaru. So, hmm. so like when I saw her and stuff, I was like, oh, like you're the girl from the PV, and yeah, I thought she was like somehow related to Amelia, but we'll see. Yeah. So. Lots of questions. I'm actually, yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure the next episode is going to be like a banger, dude. Like, yeah. there's going to be so much just being like so much info given out next episode. It should, it should hopefully give us some answers that we're looking for. I'm assuming like Super is going to be, he's going to take his first de- death by the next episode. You mean, you mean a second death? Second <laughs> death. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. And, um,. Well, I was, uh, I was gonna say too. I'm surprised they, they threw in like a, the another witch of like the sins, whatever. I thought it was gonna be all about Satelia and finding out the mystery. Like mm-hmm. if they're gonna include all seven witches, that's a lot of things to go through. Like we, like we went through a one full season about any of the witch like other witches, and now we have to go through this with like the witch of greed. It's like I don't know. I don't like. I want. I, they... I really want this mystery to be solved. Of like of like. Why is Subaru in this world, and what the hell, what the hell is that power? And like, I don't, know. I, I don't. Want I don't think they're gonna do all. I don't think they're gonna do all seven witches. I think they'll do like a few, maybe at most. But I don't okay. think they're gonna do all seven. I, I really but, just want to know what what the hell is going on. And like, it seems like it's it's just gonna not drag out, but it seems like it's gonna be a while for everything to be revealed. Yeah, true. But at least the the storytelling is not it's not bad. I, I feel like I'm enjoying it so far, even with everything that they're throwing at you. So I, I think it's going at a good pace. Yeah. The only thing I worry about is like when you have such a long, like not again, not drawn out, but like when you have such a, you have a lot of things of the lore to unpack. Like mm-hmm. I worry about how it's, how the author's got to do it in the long run and how it's going to end. Mm. So. Yeah. True. Yeah. But uh, I just got to get faith, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. So I guess that, that's our short, just our short thoughts on ReZero. I'm swinging. Yeah. Next well, the episode comes out on Wednesday, so two days from now. So, after, mm-hmm. I should probably take notes because, like, yeah, it's like the first episode that airs after the podcast. So, I need like, oh yeah, I need like remember more from the show. No help, man. No <laughs> help. Dude, I'm just busy, right? So, Same. so that's that's gonna be it for ReZero. Um, we're moving next to Snafu, or or a Garu. Yeah. Oh man, I, this episode has a lot of things unpacked too. Dude, I felt bad for Yui. So bad. Dude, I guess if we want if we want to talk about Yui, um, the last line basically like is important when she says like she basically says the opposite of Hachiman. She doesn't want the real thing. Yep. Yep. That whole thing was sad, man. I mean, I basically it's like whoever whatever happens to any, like any of these characters. Yeah, I'm just gonna cry, all of them. Dude, it feels like there's no win-win situation in this. It feels like no matter oh, what God. happens, there's I gonna mean, be like a no like one's gonna get destroyed. I mean, yeah. that's that's, oh, the, that's the whole point of Love Triangle. That's how it should be, and not like no one ever like like actually takes like this, the seriousness of it. It's always like it's always like the open-ended or the harm route. So we're actually having consequences this time. Yeah, I don't think this guy's gonna end up doing. It's gonna be one of those consequence consequence just because this this guy's I think he's a really good writer. writer. And he's making it kind of like more realistic than actually, you know, like uh, something that's wouldn't really happen. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but so, God, there's, what else? Those, there's a lot of different things. So I guess the one thing I, that stuck on my mind is like the, the fucking prom, man. You really, you really wants that prom for graduation <sighs> party. I yeah, that that one. I'm. Just, I okay, I kind of don't understand the, the whole reasoning though, like because she's. She wants to do it for this, this year, this graduating year. So, like, I don't understand, like, why she's, why it has to be like, done now, or like, why? Because she's saying how she wants to do it now, so she can be, get prepared for next year when she graduates. But I, I just, I didn't get get that part. Is this their third year, like Yui, Yukino, and Hachima? Uh, for some reason, I thought it was their second. I year. think it's their second year. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I don't really get what the rush is for. Yeah. So, so even so, even if it's for like like that group, then yeah, they have one more year to do it. But she wants to rush yeah. to do it now. I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll look it up. So, but, but, but I guess now, like in the opening, when like when like 
like the girls have the dresses and Hachiman has the, has the tux. That makes more sense now. I was mm. just not expecting that the prom to show up in this. Oh man, but I don't know, guys. Harano's looking pretty hot. I'll I'll get to her later, but I don't know. Did you guys? <laughs> so no one else has really like any like. No one really can think of a good reason why she's like rushing to get that prom. No, um, I mean, and like I mean, and, he, and she was asking, she was asking like um, Yukino for help too, and like and um, something it was like something about how Yukino wants to buy herself too. Like I think that's supposed to be important to the character, but like I struggling to like to find out why. Like why was it why is it so important for her to like do this by herself? God, dude, I I don't know. I just assumed it was like somehow like it seems like everybody is trying to help. Uh, Yukino and like Hachiman with some stuff like there's like hidden but she's, there's, like, hidden... she's so adamant about doing herself too like she wants yeah, to prove herself I... and help out student council yeah. I don't know it's, it, this is more like where I'm gonna have to just keep probably just keep going to reddit and hopefully <laughs> I don't get anything like in the future spoiled for myself um, they might actually be in this might actually be their third year uh, actually I don't no, know I because they're, I like, they're, they're second Oh god! I, I swear they're second. I know Iroha's a freshman. Oh, she was a freshman in season two, but but uh, there could have been a time. There could have been a time lapse from I'm... season two to season three after the first episode. I don't think so because season because they had the fall festival and then right now they're in winter, like right before Christmas, I think. Mm, shoot. Either right before, or at Christmas or. At it's like winter time there, so they still have a couple months before school ends in like April. Yeah. And, okay, so that might be the second second year. That um, yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look up some stuff, but yeah, I, I don't know because I'm looking through kind of like a Wikipedia thing, and it only goes to the second year of high school. Okay. So that might be it then. And then so I, I want to bring up Haru and all then because she she she's talking about all the thing about like being drunk how. She's not allowed to be drunk, and then she, she, she whispered in Hachiman's ear, like you're, like I'm gonna make a prediction. You, you're not allowed to be drunk either. So, um, did you watch <laughs> Control Subs? Did watched, you watch Control? I, I watched. I did. Yeah. The other one, and I, wa- I like half watched Control Subs because I didn't get it finished. Okay, I, I just wasn't sure if it was the same because I, it's because it sounded like because I think I think that part was different. Um, so, so like, subs wise, where it was basically she, she was saying like, you know, like no matter how much she drinks, like she can't get she can't get drunk. Yeah. Right. And then she said something about how like that's basically similar to like Hachiman. That one I again had no clue what she was like really so, meaning. I think. Her meaning. I'm gonna guess. I don't know if this is right. Like, she was saying how like, I think we're saying like if she drinks, if she's drinking too much, then like she, you know, she shows more of her true self, which she's not allowed to, because she's supposed to keep up like the facade in front of like. Her family and other like important guests so even when she's like out drinking with important people she can't get too drunk and reveal her true self so that part i can kind of understand from haruno's perspective i don't know like i kind of know what she's saying about hachiman i think maybe like maybe she's saying like hachiman is too afraid to show his true self that's why he can't get drunk because he can't like let his inhibitions down or maybe just the fact that they're truly the same like two pieces in a pod they're just the personalities are just the same, so that's why she's pretty sure that he also can't get drunk or truly let himself out in a sense. Yeah. So, I mean, that's all that I can think of. So I think, Otherwise, I think she's like using it as a metaphor, really. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I have no idea. And like I, these metaphors, man. I I, I, <laughs> I still don't, I still don't know oh. if she actually really cares about Yukino or not, because like, because. Hachiman, he was like saying, "Oh, I'm, you know, I'm surprised you actually care about like you, you know, like that, like like a little sister." And then she was saying, "You know, I wish I had a big brother like you." And it's like I don't know. Yeah, again, I think it's just a big part that they, there's just no conversation. Like this is like the first time they're actually talking to one another. Like it's just like it just seems like why they were always try to avoid each other or not try to avoid, but they never really talked serious about stuff. It was just kind of like you know in passing and like taking shots at one another, but it was not not actually like anything kind of deep. I think it was, I don't know if it was more like just because like it just sounded like for like the longest time Yukino has had no idea what she's wanted to do, mm-hmm. um, and I think then mainly like there's some like where that she's actually talking about like what she wants to do like what she wants to do. 
but I don't know. Um, like the metaphors and stuff, it's just like I'm so hesitant to go to Reddit because I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to end up seeing. So it's just like I want to, I, I like I want to go, but I only see like the first few, a uh, few comments. Like I did for I did for this one. Nobody talked about anything besides Yui. So uh, it didn't give me any kind of like that metaphorical speaking from what I saw because I didn't want to go I any mean, further down. Yui, I didn't know. I mean, that's important too because like yeah, oh yeah, like it's all about that, oh, yeah. that real thing. Which like, man, yep. if, if I ever if I ever get fluent in Japanese, I need to like I really want to like analyze that that phrase because it's so important for the show. Yeah, oh yeah. That that no like, one can like translate correctly or no one's giving the context yeah. for. Yeah, I'm just like because I'll go like I said like I'll go a few. Um, comments down, but I don't want to get. I do not want to get spoiled about like other future stuff. So I'm, I'm really, really, I'm really hesitant to, uh, to go through that for backup. I'm assuming. Um, I guess I'm just gonna guess like for prom. I'm, I'm guessing that Yukino is gonna be prom queen, and I guess maybe like they'll try like pair up with like Hayama for prom king. We'll see. Um. If it's more realistic, I would assume I, I would, I would know, assume I guess, Hayama. Even though I guess they're second years, so I guess like it should be for the third years, but yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is Hayama? No, he's not. He's two he's second year, right? He's same grade. He's, same, he's, he's the same class. Same class. As okay, yeah, but, okay. Yeah, I don't like, know then. There's there's no way that they're in the Fuck, I have no clue. Like I don't know why I'm blanking and I completely forgot what year they are in high school. Damn it. Okay. I'll try to find something about it later. I'm pretty sure the second year too, because I think like I think Yukino will have been busy studying for exams instead of doing like her club activities. Yeah, I think they would have made more mention of that like previously, but I don't think they ever really mentioned about it that in the, the even second season. I think it was more of them just doing stuff, right? Yes. Say that again. No. <laughs> no um, because like because in the second season. The, I don't remember them ever going, kind of going over the stuff where it's just like, oh, like where are you planning on going to college and oh, yeah. basically more tests and stuff. But there hasn't been any of that, so um, yeah, um, they kind of did that with well, I mean, with Hayama when they asked like, are you doing liberal arts or STEM? Wait, then... okay, sorry, quick, quick question. So, because so because she um, so is, is his sister, younger sister in high school now, or it was just she, the test, she right? Just like, not exam. in it yet. She just took the, okay. the entrance exam to get to high school. Okay, so what's the timeline in that usually? Like, how long is it usually before she go, like you go into high school? Then I don't know if you I don't she, know if you guys know. Okay, it's it's winter, so I assume it's De- I'm assuming it's December, because she just oh, because okay. it's winter and she just took the tests, and I okay, assume so like this... the results come in like January or February, and then the school ends in March and starts in April. Gotcha. Okay, so this is coming down to like the last year, or sorry, the last. Like, it's coming down to the end of the second and year. And that's then why, for like, them. they're saying, like, why are you rushing your hub? Because you only have like you know three months to get the prom ready. Yeah. Okay. All right. That, gotcha. That makes more sense. Still, a lot of stuff though. Completely. Like, mm-hmm. there's just too many, just too many metaphors, and it's uh, something I cannot follow. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't know. I, just, I, I, re- I really just want to like understand that. The, the, that Japanese phrase they use for a real thing. Like, I need to like analyze that and like look up that meaning. Dude, it'd be so it'd be so nice if it was like uh, if they had like some if there was like subtitles that, that remind me of um, uh, Gintama, where they they basically have like those like where they make jokes, but then of course it's like over, completely over our heads because a lot of their like a lot of the jokes are only for Japan. Like if they had like some sort of like small like you know subtitle thing, like this oh, is what they, they don't do that anymore. They never do any of the translators oh. notes anymore. Oh yeah, this one would be hella hard to do that. Like, because there's so many. I guess there's so many like, scenes and situations that that happens that they would have to do, and it's so much more ep- extra work. And they already are shit at their subtitles. So, crunch roll it is. I don't know about other people. I don't know. Episode two, I already teared up. So we'll see. It. We'll see how long it continues. I don't know. I just. But I got. I got. I got really nothing more. Uh, there's I, there's I mean, too much stuff I didn't understand. This is a show that, like, I'll have to, like, if I ever want to make like an anime video, this is to be the show that I do it on because there's so much to analyze here that I have to like look yeah. back and rewatch. All right, but, like once we like I watch like the final episode, all bets are off. Like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be looking through all previous comments and stuff, and like when I actually know what the ending is, so not when I know it's finally safe to look through things and like get the understanding of it, it'll be good. Oh, and by Hopefully, the way, um. They mentioned too, like the last, um, I think the last Blu-ray for the, this first Snafu comes with like this bonus novel, 
of like they call it a sequel. I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know. If it's like new characters or just gonna be like an epilogue of what happens. So, was it, well, was it for Snafu? Yeah. Or was it something else? Yeah. Oh, okay. But that'll probably be only in Japan. Doesn't help because it's not <laughs> it's not translated. We'll see. Um. So. I'll wait for uh, yeah. If the third season comes out and they have like some sort of like special bonus collector's edition or something, I'm uh, I'm gonna probably have to pick that up. But so I mean, maybe you can get well. I mean, like if we're lucky, like one of them, one of the licenses will pick it up and bring it here. But it, that takes like at least a year. So yeah, yeah. It's which it's whatever. Otherwise, then spoil it. Just read it online. Just yeah, look for a fan translation. I just read it online. Yeah, I mean, it's just it'll be easy and quick enough. I mean, I don't think the novel's gonna be that big, right? It's probably gonna be something pretty small. But all right, we'll see. Yeah, so that's our. I got nothing else. That's our confused take on Snafu so far. I look forward to more confused takes. Feels bad. This season, yeah. Um, so that's gonna be it for Snafu. I guess we'll. I guess we'll want to rent a girlfriend. I guess we're gonna talk about the show if you guys want. We could. Tr- yeah, we could try. I mean, or at least I could. Because last week I didn't watch it yet. I watched both episodes, and oh. I actually did like the first episode. I thought, yeah, I liked the first episode. I thought M- like the main character was a bitch. And then he just, and then I thought like, and then it got worse in the second episode where I thought like this guy's even worse than the first episode. Uh, his grandma's awesome. I mean, anybody who wails in uh, mobile games, I respect, especially at that age. Um, and, uh, and I got really nothing else like, besides David. I think you'd, I think you'd wear those striped pants. Dude, why are you... <laughs> <laughs> why are you... I think you pull those off this cat, those khaki pants with the, Dude, with the stripes and stuff. This fashion sense is really weird. Like, I'm not gonna wear any of that stuff. It's it's awful. I think that's why nobody talks to him. That's why that's why he's a loser. Dude, okay, I had a bad feeling about him last last um week, but like just saying, I don't know. That's just the way his attitude like just rubbed me the wrong way. And now like it, I just got validated this second episode. Like the one, the thing that just pisses me off the most is when like is when she, like Chizuha like stood up for him in like. Like in that um, like that restaurant, and he just he just didn't do anything. He just like took oh, it. Oh yeah. Like yeah. god damn. He, he backed up the ex girlfriend too. I what know, a bitch. right? Like oh my god. Like I mean, like the the ex girlfriend's in the wrong too, but it's like the, like still like, like they, they both just suck. Dude, there's something really fucking like like scary. Like I'm getting like those uh, high school vibes, or the high school day vibes. Like in some of those like, looks she has, just you just get lifeless eyes. Yeah. Like basically, <laughs> the district's about to snap. Uh, yeah, yeah, and and it's and it's uh, not in a good way either. I can just tell too how like it's gonna be one of those things where like, where like anything they try to do to redeem their character, like I'm not gonna buy it at all. Like it's just she's just already gone for me. Like, oh yeah, definitely. It's just uh, like, same thing with the MC too. It's just honestly, I'm just I'm just watching it for the, like, oh, the you know the rented girlfriend and again not, not like the fucking Reddit like. I, just they're defending the main character saying oh obviously oh he's flawed because if he wasn't flawed this wouldn't be an interesting show so you gotta watch for the character developments i'm like my god yeah. you guys like i think this is one i think it's one of the things where it's like it's only the people who are interested in the show are commenting so of course you get like such a biased response from, like, oh, yeah. other people who like they wouldn't, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't like bother replying or not gonna watch the show or i don't know there's just way too many people on reddit that just defending the guy saying like it's just or they're defending the writing they're saying like, like yeah, you gotta just watch for the character development because he wasn't mm. maybe it was such, a, like I don't know. No, but okay. I can I can agree with that though. I mean, there's only two episodes in, and basically, how are you gonna build a guy up if he's not already like at rock bottom? So I think they have to set him up to be at rock bottom for him to actually show like good genuine character development. Mm. I'm gonna have to disagree with that just because like one of my favorite anime of all time actually quite so the quite complex, um uh, in that in that show. It basically has like the guy where it has kind of like a similar situation where he runs into his ex girlfriend and like this kind of like where he's like uh he's like one he's like one of the hosts and he basically ends up getting like like getting made fun of and stuff like when he like or when he walks in there he basically you know, he starts taking it and then uh you know ba- like you know the main girl like basically the, you know like the the true the, the true wife comes in saves him and then and then they start to back talk you know they they actually start to back talk her and then basically he stands up like immediately and basically like uh and then backs her up. And this is like, and this is basically what's like where really there was no character development needed. Like that's just who he was, and he was awesome from the beginning. Um, which there was like for me, I didn't like there was no need for like character development. It was just like you know, he just like you know, solidified himself as being you know good MC. Was but this episode it, two though? 
<laughs> no, but but his but he never actually changed though because like he never actually like, defended the ex like at any point in the in, in any point of the show. Um, he was all for like you know new girl. Yeah, well, then how do you tell if there's actual character development or not if nothing changes? Um, I, it's the story that was actually I, I think if anything the, the character development was actually meant more for the main girl <laughs> than actually him because he yeah. wasn't actually like really kind of flawed in any way, but she wasn't really flawed to like that, that kind of like extent either. Where more of like she was just like you know she just never really kind of stood up for really anything. She never really spoke much. She was you know book girl or bookworm. I don't know, just like, um, just it's just such a huge turn off. Like just the guy, like he's just yeah. I really like, don't like watching. His... Yeah, like like the character development would have been fine. Like in a way, like if if he just didn't say anything. Like if he, if he basically like like he didn't have to like you know actually like back up the ex girlfriend. He could have basically right. just you know oh, and, he could have just sat there and said nothing. No, and, and that's, then and that's besides besides that too. Like he like he kept lying. Like and he kept getting like cheese who was oh stuck in like the lies. That's that's what made it worse because like mm-hmm. like he couldn't stand, he couldn't stand up to his friends and then like he kept like he kept like you know like like dragging her into his situation. So that's what made it worse. Is like he just could not stop lying and like keep going and going, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now he's a total scumbag. Like, I totally agree like, with that. So, so but... he totally deserves like all that to happen to him, basically, and just that just made it all the worse. And yeah. and the only, and again, people on Reddit are trying to defend like he he almost tried to like say the truth to his grandma, and then like that part, she's who she's like interrupted. Fuck sure, sure. Bad move on that part. Bad move. Sh- like okay, sure, like she interrupted, but still, like he's like this is still all I mean, his again, fault. Like it's. Right. It, again, like I said, I, I agree he's a total scumbag, but it's only two episodes in. Um, <laughs> hopefully, right, there's a redemption point, and that's when it starts to go upwards. Because at this point, he's kind of just, like, at the bottom of his ropes. You know, he's been dumped. He doesn't know what to do. He's confused about how, like, females should should act, or if, like, like how can they just play on guys like that? Um, he, was still, he, was still, yeah. he was still being pissy last episode, too, like, giving... Like she's like the one star review and like like being just pissy during that second date. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, and I, I totally get that. I actually thought that was fine. That part was just kind of uh, like, that like was, him, that, was, he, no. that, that is the only part I will defend him because it basically it like just happened. Basically, like all that stuff, you know, he was like he was basically at the bottom. But I don't think um I don't think the the next episode though is gonna be that um uh what what, what was the term for it where it was gonna be character redemption. It seems like it's gonna get worse. I don't know if you guys watched the pre the preview, but it doesn't seem uh, good. <laughs> yeah, we're about to get some fan service. That's yeah, it's think. it's not gonna go. It's not gonna. He's not gonna be redeemed this next episode. He's gonna be. He's gonna make even more bad decisions. I assume. I, mean, I guess we'll see what happens because according to the OP, there's gonna be more females introduced as well. And I wonder if they're actually aiming towards showing the different faces that that a female can show. Um. And it's going to open up his eyes since he's going to experience like all the different facades that females can have. And then that's when he starts to like pieces it together, gets a better stance on like how to behave or like act as a, as a man. Uh, and then that's hopefully where the character development will come in. We'll see. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I, yeah. As of right now, it doesn't look too good though. Well, I, I hope, I mean, if, if they're going to do the character development, it's got to be sooner rather than later. Like they can't have him just all of a sudden just become like, you know, they, they, like have like everything redeemed, like the last episode or something, where he's it's basically just like that back and forth, back and forth trash, yeah. or he just continues to like lie. Because there's other times, like I know, like you know, I keep the the, the where she like you know will we'll stop him and basically you know back him up, but then he could easily just say like that's not the truth, or it's just like you know thanks for the help, but like, this isn't true. Like it's just like the, I don't know. the first episode, like he kind of almost redeemed himself, like at the end too, when like when um. When he, he he you know he apologized to Chizuha saying like you know I'm sorry for getting caught up in all this like and stuff like uh, like hopefully you can put this behind like that was actually good for him like he that's yeah. that's one part where he like yeah he basically he almost redeemed himself but then like he just kept getting caught in these lies again and yeah yeah there's always like that but and then it followed by another lie so, and then yeah and then also sorry, I, okay, but, this, but I have to hell I have to lie again sorry David go ahead I was just like I've been trashing on the main guy this whole time but then I, I had to trash on the ex girlfriend too that was just so shitty what she did like oh yeah she's like just like was, calling him out like that like and yeah calling him all that all, bunch of, in in front of all his friends and his current girlfriend and just just doing you know, that's just so shitty like and then and then she like at the end too she just comes like like goes over. She's shoulder just acting like nothing happened 
like she didn't acting like she didn't cause shit and asking him oh, to come god. over like god damn like oh so the, my god I, I don't know that like again they're both bad so that was just i don't know in the, uh, in the famous words of Kentaro Oi, uh, women aren't <laughs> scary. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh god, and and the the thing is like, too, it didn't just end there. Like, you know, she's, you know, she's or he's walking like home with her to whose yeah. to whose, the whose house we don't know yet. It's gonna, gonna be her. It's gonna be her apartment. Oh, uh, so yeah, so it's gonna and, just continue to be making more bad decisions. And then I remember too, like how like I mean, yeah, early in episode two, where like her friends were. Well, you know, it's the same friends that was at the the, the restaurant, but they they were like, like shit talking the guy, saying, "Hey, isn't that your ex? Like, isn't that sad? He's such a loser." And she's looking at him weird. Like, I don't know. That's that's supposed to like make it seem like she still cares about him, but that I mean, so that's just gotta be dumb. Like, what were they do with her? It's just gotta be dumb because she just like maybe yeah, I don't it's, know. it's just dumb. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be. So far, I hope it's. No, I should I shouldn't say because it's it's probably gonna be small little things where she. She probably thinks she's like so like high above him that like she can't stand the thought of like that he would like get a, another girlfriend like soon after getting dumped and someone that's super cute too. She probably like think that's supposed to be beneath him or something, something dumb like that. I, I can see something like that too. But, but I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep watching. It's it's uh I don't know. I was gonna say like, first episode was enjoyable to watch. The second episode was pretty pretty tough to watch. Like that second half where basically just even though I hate the guy. This guy's just getting basically publicly shamed, and I'm like, uh, oh man, that, dude. Now that now that I think about it, I don't know how I feel. Like basically, like the guys, the guys trash, but holy fuck, I, 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 those scenes, man, I forgot just like how bad they were. Okay, yeah. but then like you, you have to like remember too that throughout the whole two episodes, like the parents knows that he's kind of a loser. Even the grandma knows he's kind of a loser. That's why yeah. she's like, oh, oh, grandma, don't, man. oh my please God. don't give up on my son or yeah. my grandson. Like please don't don't yeah. break up with him. You know, like. He, they they've even they're reiterating the fact that he's he's kind of a lost cause when it comes to like interactions with females, you know. So that, again, well, that and, like, they, his, his friends are shitty too. Like a lot of his friends talk. are shitty. Like I mean, oh, I think like it's a stereotypical immature guy uh, like mentality. So I, I I guess I get it. But yeah, I yeah. mean, like he doesn't have like the best background. So again, they're gonna probably like 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 fuck up his character, and then hopefully they can slowly like make him look out. Or like, like grow and have him become a better person. Hopefully, because yeah. it's only episode two. Like at least I'd want to say by episode six, hopefully they would have him be somewhat, uh, like somewhat of a better character. But uh, I mean, I don't know. But we'll see. Yeah. There's a lot of room for improvement. A lot of time left, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna hold hope. I'm just gonna. I don't know. I don't know what's for. Like hate watch. I don't know. I'm just gonna. It's basically, hey, like, it's basically like the Sunday when I'm just lazy and on my bed. Hey, you gotta have at least one trash show, David. Might, might as well have it be this one. To. I don't have to. So okay. that's gonna be it for Rent a Girlfriend. And then uh, I'm opening the floor for anyone who wants to talk about any other shows. If there's anything else you want to Oh, so actually, I started, I picked up uh, Uzeka Chan wants to hang out or something like oh. that. Is that just a meme show or is there actually more to it? Uh, it's actually pretty. It's actually pretty good. Like uh, the the dynamic between the two, like the MC and then the the small chick, uh, it, it's actually pretty nice. And then like episode two, uh, it's actually showing more support casts. It shows uh, the MC's part time job, and he's kind of just like he's kind of like the audience, right? They made him give out the opinions that the audience is having. Like, oh man, like my life is. My life is kind of boring. I kind of want to watch these two and see how they develop because I find it to be so amusing. Um, so yeah, I think the dynamic between the two is pretty. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, I think uh, Uzaki, I think her name was, was, was is pretty cute, and she's one of those like small girls with big tits. So there is some kind of etchiness to it as well. Okay, right. This I mean, gotta, always gotta have that character. Right? You, gotta, you gotta have that character uh, in females, but um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not. It's not like I went into it thinking it was gonna be like a gag. Uh, comedy kind of uh, show, but it's actually not that bad. Uh, I would recommend giving it a shot if you uh, can't. Nothing else going on. It's better than Rent a Girlfriend. I'll give it that. It's better than Rent a Girlfriend. So Ooh. that's kind of a low bar, though. Isn't it? <laughs> it is, but I mean, for two episodes, that I'd say it's I'd say it's worth giving a shot. If you don't like it after two episodes, I, I'd say if you drop it, I mean that's totally understandable. But I'd say it's worth at least while giving it a watch. So how's the comedy? 
uh, comedies there. They do play a lot of like the the, the typical cliche stuff. Um, like she she has big tits, and then she's she's an innocent girl as well, so she doesn't know any better. And then the things that she does or things that she says can be uh, kind of misleading to the public if you're not part of the conversation. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I take it with a shot. I like the look of the MC guy. Basically, like that that typical looking dude where you just assume he's just going to be kind of a uh, uh, nonchalant about everything, and he's probably just going to be hilarious as well. Yeah, so it's basically just her just bug him nonstop because he's a loner and she doesn't oh, want to be alone. So it's just okay. like the, the annoying um, little girl that wants why to be she, she just wants to hang out. Yeah, basically. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to see how. I mean, already like because this season is just packed, even though I'm watching a lot of other uh, trash stuff. But, yeah, I forgot what day comes out, but I mean, I'm able to fit it in. So okay, I'll look it up. I might, I might check it out. But I got nothing of my other shows to talk about. There's really nothing not- notable. Okay. I mean, um, I'm still watching. I'm still watching superheroes and Digimon, but I got nothing. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'll just leave it at that. Oh, I guess I, I, I saw. I still watched. That was at the third episode of the Misfit Demon King, whatever. Like, oh yeah, I'm still watching that too. Dude, like the animation looks so clean for such a generic show. Like it's, it's sad. Is it worth checking out or no? It's, yeah, it's generic. So if have nothing else to do. Because you know, you know, Sword Art, the animation is just top notch. <laughs> Everything I mean, about uh, it. It's not, it's not mean, a sword art animation. Not sword, but it's still like it's it's clean. It's, good. it's, it's clean. Good. Like close. Like I don't know how they're getting the budget for this, yeah. but it's <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's just yeah. So yeah, I'm just kind of skipping through it, and it actually it looks it's clean. Solid. Yeah. Yeah. It looks solid. Hmm. Um. There's know, we'll there's see. this one other show that um I forgot the name. It's, it's like 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 Diary of Our something. Breakwater, but it's, it's like the four. It's basically like the four cute girls like going fishing. Uh, I'm only interested in it just because like um, four girls. <laughs> no, I'm only just because like I'd be interested in the fishing part, and then uh, they're in, and the uh, the author he's in like he's in the Kyushu area. That's kind of like, the area I want I would want to um visit in Japan. So kind of interesting if they show more of that area. Yeah, that that started last season, right? It was delayed. Diary, it was Diary. delayed, and then oh. it's continuing this season. So. Gotcha. Diary of our days at the breakwater. Yeah. Right? Okay. But like gotcha. it's kinda of kinda of like Stren, like when you watch Nonyan Bury and wants to visit the Japanese countryside. I think this is one of those yeah. where it's like if I watch this, I wanna, you know, like go fishing in Japan. So Yeah. Like when I remember actually when this was airing, I saw that. I was like, damn, I kinda of wanna check this out. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna watch it, but maybe maybe later. But maybe before I go to Japan or something. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like, these type of shows, I would assume like if you want to just have like a like a relaxing show, like I get like I said, like I don't know, I don't normally watch anime like before I go to bed or anything like that, or like, even at night. I usually watch them during the day. But Nana and Biori is one of the ones that I would watch before I went to bed. It was so soothing and calming that you basically just watch an episode, shut the laptop, and I was out. It was just nice. <laughs> Didn't they announce season two for Nana and Biori? So season three, sir. Season three. Okay. Season three. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna be so, watching that before I go to bed. And then that's gonna be my, uh, just, my lullaby song. You better, hope, you better hope it comes out for Trip to Japan. Oh, dude, that's Although fine. We're not, we're, not gonna go, we're not gonna go countryside. We're gonna hang in the cities first. Well, the thing is, at least like I mean, if Nana and Biori isn't out, then I have these other shows I can go I can go and watch basically where I can you know look at the and, like the countryside of Japan where it's just like you know like just the scenes and everything are just really nice and soothing. Because uh, Nana and Biori, like itself, is not that much like actually talking. Like, there's some talking and stuff, but there's a lot of scenes that are just quiet where you just hear like noises and joint noises and music, and you just see like just you know, nice animation. But anyway, <laughs> so I guess that's gonna be it for all our shows. So yeah, um, yes. So we, we, have- we have decent amounts to talk about. Where I say I say like summer season's still starting pretty strong. Like we have. A lot of interesting things to talk about, even just like second or third episodes for a lot of these shows. So, looking forward yeah. for the rest of the season. Hopefully, it finishes strong. Yeah, and I feel, I mean, you, uh, and I assume that we will not have decadence for next week. Just don't, <laughs> don't expect it. No, I'm assuming that that is uh, that show is dead and bad. gone. It's B A D bad. <laughs> yeah, it's M I A starting next week. 
It's funny because none of the shows I'm watching, I'm planning on dropping so far. So it, it looks I mean, to be a good lineup just, for me. I might watch it still. I probably won't talk about it though. So. Oh yeah, the, the only shows I'm I'm thinking about where I would possibly jo- drop are not any of the ones that I watch or that we talk about on the podcast. So. Right. So that's always good. Yeah. Yep. Just so. my other hidden trash. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with. So that's gonna be it for this week's episode. I wanna thank the audience for listening. Sorry about all the. The connection issues. I don't know why I've been having problems today and yesterday. I'll attempt so, to host next week. We'll, we'll so, see if I do. I don't know. Better. I can't really do anything about it either. But we'll no worries, man. I remember when we, I tried to host one time, and I think we we like you cut out, but we were basically had to wait anyway. <laughs> or we had to wait for you to come back because I I think that was like my opening. Event. I was like ranting about something at the opening, <laughs> how you DC'd, but yeah. So thanks everyone for putting up with us. I want to thank the panel for joining us today. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Love all the time, man. Enjoying Don't hearing worry. all your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sword Art makes it, I mean, <laughs> it makes it worth coming every week. <laughs> nope. uh, not to, this not, of this week. Yeah, not this week. We didn't get to do our shit on Sword Art segment, but we'll, we'll look forward to it. Still, still, though, even though we said so many like good things to talk about, we still shat on it probably more than any other show that we talked about this week. Shh, don't, don't ruin the Percoli moment, all right? It, it's yeah, like, yeah. I, I, yeah, please. So. Just uh, leave it on high, bro. Yep. Just remember the three to five minutes of the greatness. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was nice. Yep. Those, those, they, yeah, those animated scenes were just. Oh, they were, they were, they were top notch. Yep. That's I, knew, I knew, I knew for a fact when they cut to him and the giant ass explosion. I knew instantly animation was going. Mm. I saw them <laughs> solid a- black lines. I was like, oh. It's time. <laughs> the highlight of this fucking show, man. Dude, they, they started with those uh, solid black lines too. Like, like even like you could you could see it coming. Like it was like something was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, even on the, those kind of like, like lower scenes, like between the two. But yeah, it's goddamn. It was nice. Yep. So we're right in that high note, sort of, and that'll be it. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.